Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss another passport exam problem in differential calculus. So a window is in the shape of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle. So what is the ratio of the width of the rectangle to the total height so that it will yield a window admitting the most light for a given perimeter? So we have the choices guys. We have A as 1, B as 3 halves, C as 1 fourth, and D as 2. So by solving this problem guys, we will actually realize that this is part of differential calculus. So a window is in the shape of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle. So we have guys na um, rectangle and at the top of the rectangle we have a semicircle. Okay, so basically this is the shape of our window. So ang tanong here guys, what is the ratio, let's say ratio R, the ratio of the width of the rectangle okay here is the width to the height okay to the total height each of that window so that is width over height so what is that so that is required in this problem so first, we will get the relationships between uh, these dimensions. So since this is a uh, semicircle, so it has a radius. Okay, let's say that the radius is x. So let's say x. So if this is x here, this is also x. And of course, this is 2x. So the total length width is actually equal to 2 times x okay so basically this is just equal to 2x over height so since the width is just twice of this uh, radius so we have another unknown here which is the length of the rectangle let's say that this is y okay and so uh, we'll get the ratio wherein the window is admitting the most light so when you say guys that a uh, window is admitting the most light this is when the area is a maximum so uh, that's why this is under differential calculus because this is a maxima and minima problem okay so since here sinabi na admitting the most light for a given perimeter we will actually get area in terms of perimeter so let's first find the perimeter of this uh, figure okay so the perimeter is just the the sum of the sides so the perimeter is just the sum of the sides okay add lang natin lahat ng side so that is 2x plus we have here y plus we have this uh, part of the circle here so basically that is just one half one half of the circumference okay one half of the circumference of this circle since it is just semicircle this length here okay this length here is just one half one half of the circumference okay so recall that the circumference of the circle c is just equal to pi times the diameter okay here our radius is x therefore that is pi times 2x since x is radius and the diameter is twice of the radius so this is one half of the circumference so that is pi times 2x okay plus we have this okay meron pang isang y dito Para mabuo natin yung perimeter or yung kabuuan na length nung nakapalibot doon sa rectangular uh, window with a surmounted semicircle. So that is plus y. 
so that is plus y so basically this is our this is our perimeter here okay so simplify lang natin guys so the perimeter is just equal to so you have here 2x plus y plus y that is 2y and we have here plus so 1 half times pi times 2x that is just equal to pi x Ayan. so we have this equation 1 so since we are going to get the relationship between the area and the perimeter we'll now uh, get the equation for the area or total area of this uh, figure okay so the total area of this figure is composed of two areas the areas of the rectangle area of the rectangle and the area of the semicircle add lang natin guys area of the rectangle plus area of the semicircle okay so basically that is the area of the rectangle is just length times width okay ang length natin is y so that is y times width which is 2x so this is times 2x plus area of the semicircle so yung semicircle natin guys is one half of the area of the circle okay so that is one half times the area of the circle okay recalling ang area ng circle is pi times radius is squared in this case ang radius natin is x so that is area of circle that is pi times x squared so since this is a semicircle that is just one half of the area of the circle which is pi times x squared okay so you have this equation now so area is equal to 2xy plus pi x squared over 2 okay so uh, we have here this equation okay going back to our first equation so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so uh, from equation 1 okay from equation 1 we have here perimeter equals 2x plus 2y plus pi x okay so we have here uh 2y equals p minus 2x uh, minus minus pi x okay so simplify lang natin guys so we have here y equals p minus 2x minus pi x all over 2 okay so basically this is this is y in terms of the other variables okay so we have here y equals one half of the perimeter minus you have here x okay minus pi over 2 x so just simplify guys we have here y is equal to one half of the perimeter okay guys i factor out natin yung x since common siya so we have here minus x we have here one so this is plus na guys times pi over 2 so bakit naging plus guys so this is negative negative so negative times positive negative and here your negative times positive negative so that's why kapag dinagyan mo ng parenthesis magiging uh, positive siya okay so uh, we have here y equals 1 half p minus x times the quantity we have here 1 plus pi over 2 this is 2 plus pi over 2 so after you solve for y so bakit natin uh, sinob si y in terms of uh, p and x in order for us to simplify the equation okay so we have here area is equal to 2x times y which is 1 half the perimeter minus x times the quantity okay 2 plus pi over 2 and we have here plus 
pi x squared over 2. Okay, so area is equal to, okay, 2x times 1 half p, that is px. So minus, we have here, multiply lang natin, that will become x squared. And 2 here will cancel out, so this is just 2 plus pi. And we have here plus pi over 2x squared. Okay, so after you do that, uh, gawin natin, isimplify natin guys. So area is equal to px, okay, minus, so yung x natin guys, so this is plus, okay, i-regroup lang natin, pi over 2x squared, and minus, that is x squared times quantity 2 plus pi. Okay, regroup lang natin. So area is equal to px, okay, plus, you have here x squared, and quantity. So, if factor out natin yung x squared since common siya. So, we have here pi over 2. Ito. Okay, minus. We have here 2 plus pi. Okay, simplify natin itong expression. Okay, so this expression here is... Okay, so simplifying this expression here, so pi over 2 minus quantity 2 plus pi, using your calculator, that is negative 3.57. So that is minus 3.57x squared. So going back to the problem, it says here na, ano daw yung ratio of the width and the height? So that is w over h if uh, the window will admit the most light. So basically, that is when the area is maximum for a given perimeter. Okay? So, here, so in order for us to maximize the area, so maximize, we need to get the derivative of A with respect to X. Okay? So that is derivative of A with respect to X, that is, uh, P, ano yung derivative ng x with respect to x? So, that is just 1. Okay, minus, copy the constant, 3.57. So, what is the derivative of x squared? Okay, that is 2x. Okay, so, ayan. So, going back, in order for you to maximize a certain variable, you need to uh, let the derivative of that variable with respect to another variable uh, into zero. So basically, if you are going to maximize area, we need to let dA over dx to zero. Okay, so this becomes zero equals p minus, okay, 3.57 times 2. That is 7.14. So minus 7.14x. Okay, so here, we can see that we have here p in terms of x okay. so if the area is maximum we have here 7.14 x is equal to p and we have here x is equal to p over 7.14 okay simplify lang natin so that is we have here x is equal to 0.14 p so basically this is the relationship of x the radius of the semicircle to the perimeter wherein A is maximum or maximized. Okay, going back to our ratio. Okay, so the ratio is width over H. Okay, so R is equal to width. So, yung width natin, in terms of radius, is 2x. So, that is 2x. So, the height in terms of other variables, x and y, is just equal to y plus x. So, y is that. So, since this is y here, Okay, that is y. And of course, this remaining height here is the radius x. So that is y plus, you have here, x. So that is h. So that is y plus x. So that is the relationship. So r is equal to, okay, r is equal to 2x all over y plus x. So, since we have here x in terms of uh, perimeter, so we can actually get y in terms of perimeter, okay? Using, of course, the first equation here, ayan. 
So, P is equal to 2X plus 2Y plus 5X. Okay? So, P is equal to 2Y plus, we have here X times the quantity 2 plus 5. Okay? Simplify lang natin. So, since we have here, uh, X is equal to 0.14P, substitute lang natin siya dito. Okay? So, we have here P is equal to 2Y plus uh, we have here X that is 0.14P and times the quantity 2 plus pi. Okay. Simplify lang natin guys. This becomes P is equal to 2Y plus. Okay. Simplify lang natin to. Okay. So, this becomes 0.72P. So, that is 0.14 times 2 plus pi. So, 0.72p. Simplifying, we have here 2y is equal to uh, p minus 0.72p. Okay, y is equal to p minus 0.72p all over 2. Okay, so y is equal to, so that is 0.14p. Okay, so y is also equal to 0.14p. So finally, since we have these expressions, x in terms of p and y in terms of p, we can actually uh, substitute that into our uh, original equation which is the ratio, yung hinahanap sa problem. So we have here uh, 2 times x, x is 0.14p all over y, y is 0.14p. And plus x, which is 0.14p. So simplifying the ratio is so here we can see that uh, the reason why we get x in terms of p and y in terms of p, so that we can actually simplify or cancel out those variables to get the ratio. So we have here so 2 times 0.14, that is 0.28p. And you have here 0.14p plus 0.14p, that is 0.28p, thus our ratio is 1. Okay, so therefore, the ratio between uh, the width and the height of this figure is 1 in order for us to maximize the area. Okay, where in the area is a maximum. So that's it guys. For today's video so I hope that you have learned from this video guys uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get notified on my future videos just like this one thank you guys see you on my next video